लेसर डिपॉजिट्स objectives the objectives of learning this module are to understand the placer deposits by studying their characteristics physical properties classification formation of placers factors that are controlling the formation of placers world distribution and indian distribution of placer deposits in particular introduction Placers are very important economic minerals found in the near shore environment. These are detrital minerals which have been transported to their sites of deposition in a particular form. Placers are mineral deposits that have been formed by the mechanical concentration of detrital mineral particles in subaqueous environments. They occur in beaches, rivers, dunes and offshore areas. The minerals that constitute the placer deposits are resistant to chemical breakdown and have high density and durability. Placer minerals include elements in their native state such as gold, platinum and diamond and resistant minerals such as cassiterite, ilmenite, rutile, zircon, monazite, garnet, magnetite and corundum. Most of placer minerals occur within a few kilometers of their source. Thus, marine placers are confined to near shore zone. However, placers also occur on ancient submerged beaches or in drowned valleys far away from shoreline or on raised beaches. The most commonly used definitions of placers refer to the concentration of valuable detrital minerals formed by sedimentary processes these minerals are distinguished by the relatively high specific gravity that serves as the principal cause of concentration mineral sands deposits of mineral sands are gaining economic importance on many occasions today people concentrate on mineral placer deposits occurring along beaches Most of the mineral sands are exploited for titanium in the form of rutile and ilmenite with byproducts of zircon and commonly kyanite, sillimanite, staurolite or garnet. At one time, the mineral sands were shipped as concentrates of three naturally occurring minerals like rutile, ilmenite and leucoxene. Economic importance The economic minerals in placers are those with a specific gravity greater than 2.65 that is that of the main gauge mineral quartz Individual placer deposits are exploited for gold platinum group minerals cassiterite and diamonds Each of these may also occur as an accessory as byproduct concentration with another dominant mineral Less commonly Placers also include scheelite, wolframite, bismuthinite, native copper, cinnabar, magnetite, chromite, anatase, columbite, tantalite, and pyrochlore. Since the 1970s, Australia has overtaken India and the United States and now dominates the world's production of ilmenite together with rutile. Historical importance placers have been mined on all continents except Antarctica Historically placers have yielded a very significant part of the world's total supply of gold platinum tin and diamonds They are presently the source of most of the world's titanium With the exception of mineral sands the productive role of placers declined considerably during the 20th century and continues to decrease overall as reserves diminish diamond mining especially in the environment being the only sector exhibiting growth in recent years 
The history of placer deposits as a source of economic minerals began with the discovery of monazite in the beach sands of Manawala Kurichi, Tipper, 1909. This was first worked in 1911 and rapidly developed with the establishment of TiO2, titanium pigment industry, in Europe and America. In the early 1930s, India accounted for 80% of the total ilmenite production in the world. However, by the 1950s, the ilmenite production marked a sudden decrease in the country. This owes in part to the discoveries of new deposits in Australia and Canada and the presence of undesirable impurities like chromium and ferric iron in Indian ilmenite. Many features of placer deposits and their evaluation were known a century ago. Classification of placers Placers may be classified according to the mean mineral constituent, the physical and chemical properties of the mineral, age, size, tectonic history, means of formation, or geomorphological form. Kazakevich Kazakevich proposed a classification based on Placer's genesis. Lindgren gave due credits to geological location and tectonic history. Emery and Noakes, 1968, classified Placer minerals into heavy, heavy minerals with specific gravities of 6.8 to 21 light heavy minerals with specific gravities of 4.2 to 5.3, gems with specific gravities of 2.9 to 4.1. Classification based on physical properties. Gold, platinum and cassiterite are important heavy minerals. Ilmenite, rutile, zircon and monazite are important light heavy minerals and diamond is the most important gem placer mineral. The following table gives the physical properties of some common placer minerals. Folk 1971 has divided the heavy minerals into three groups based on their physical and chemical nature namely opaques, ultra stables and meta stables. Ruthier, 1963, classified placers into a simpler type of subdivisions. Placers are classified into illuvial, alluvial or fluvial, eolian, beach placers and fossil placers based on their mode of transportation and site of deposition. Illuvial placer a placer deposit that is concentrated near the decomposed outcrop of the source. This is the embryonic stage in the development of placers. Alluvial placers. Placers or its associated valuable mineral formed by the action of running water. The heavy minerals are introduced into the fluvial system by the action of runoff, gravity or by the erosion process of streams themselves. Aeolian deposits. They occur in arid or semi-arid regions where the influence of wind is strong and sufficient vegetation does not exist to cover the soil. Beach placers. Such placers are formed by the interaction of the terrestrial processes with the coastal hydrodynamics. Fossil placers. Placers formed in the geologic past which were removed from the sub-aerial environment by factors like changes in climate and or epirogenic movements and eustacy are called fossil placers or submerged placers. Kartashov, 1971, identified two types of placer, autochtonous and allochtonous, on the basis of their formational processes. He described the former as predominantly proximal to the sources and formed mostly during fluvial downcutting. Alloctonous placers 
are concentrated during an aggradation stage after some significant transport. Burton and Fralick, 2003, prefer to classify placers as erosional or depositional. Formation of placers For any placer deposit to form, the conditions to be satisfied are the following. A primary source for the mineral placers, which are usually crystalline rocks. A suitable weathering environment, which is required to liberate the minerals from the source rocks. And agents of transportation like running water, wind, etc., which move the placer forming minerals to the zones of concentration where they are deposited. Sources The formation of placer mineral deposits requires a primary source and involves process of erosion, transportation and concentration. The main environments of placer mineral deposition are rivers, beaches and the offshore area. The formation of placer mineral deposits on beaches results essentially from the selective sorting of the beach deposits in the intertidal zone by wave and current action with the velocity of the backwash being sufficient only to remove light minerals, thus leaving the heavy minerals behind. Dunham, 1969 Placer minerals can occur in several situations in the offshore area. Discontinuous episode Formation of placers is a cyclic process of erosion and deposition. It is a result of series of discontinuous episodes completed within an epoch, a period or an era. The cycle commences with exposure and weathering of a mineral's source. Two processes like physical and chemical are involved, alone or together. The result commonly is the creation of a regolith, a mantle of loose, fragmental rock debris, soil or clay, which covers the more coherent bedrock from which it is derived. Physical weathering Physical weathering, especially periglacial forms with little chemical weathering, is dominant in subarctic regions. It is not as specific as the chemical weathering in favoring the release of certain minerals. Acting alone, physical weathering produces a fractured rock crust without any change in the mineralogy. Chemical weathering Chemical weathering occurs during warm, preferably humid conditions. It is most intense and extends to the greatest depth tens of meters in tropical climates. Resistant placer and accessory minerals are liberated with quartz, whereas rock-forming silicates are altered. In situ weathered mantles that contain economic concentrations of placer minerals constitute alluvial placer deposits. Weathered ground may move downslope under the influence of gravity alone, lubricated by groundwater or washed by flowing surface water to form a colluvial deposit. The various means of mass movement are determined by the physical nature of the ground, climate, elevation and slope gradient. Topographic controls Placers may form in higher elevation, low order, headwater creeks, gullies, gulches and canyons, in all of which placers have been mined. Beach placers result from the concentration of heavy minerals by waves on the foreshore. The active portion of the beach between low tide level and the level attained by storm waves. Mineral sands are most efficiently concentrated by wave action on the foreshore. Conditions favorable for placer deposit development. Three events, alone or in combination, Initiate the formation of a placer, some form of tectonic activity, a change in climate, and a change in relative sea level. 
tectonic activity. Plate tectonics results in continental collision within plate boundaries, creating a combination of horizontal and vertical uplift. Uplift causes a fall in relative sea level and immediately affects coastal rivers, increasing their gradients. Uplift alternates with subsidence and localized downwarping, causing an on and off lap surrounding oceans with accompanying deposition of platform sedimentary sequences. Climate change. Climate change is created by external factors such as the Earth's orbital variations that are thought to have triggered global ice ages and internal factors. Climates, their changes and their role in placer formation differ globally in both time and place. Four basic climates are arid and cold, arid and warm, humid and warm, and humid and cold. Colder climates encourage physical weathering with solely fluxion and at high elevations coupled with sufficient snowfall, glaciation. Warmer climates, especially in combination with humidity, result in chemical weathering. Change in climate may be more important than the climate itself at any one time and place and encourages alternating effects of weathering and erosion. A change from arid to semi-arid conditions increases the availability of water in source areas, increasing the rate of sediment transport. Erosion is assisted by the lack of vegetation cover. Change in sea level. A fall in relative sea level reduces the base level of coastal rivers, the elevation below which fluvial erosion cannot occur. The sea regresses, withdraws from shallow areas preserving beaches, and changes the length and gradient of rivers that, with renewed energy, become incised. A reversal or transgression reduces a river's gradient and its sediment carrying capacity, and coastal areas are inundated. Change in sea levels has been cyclic, reflecting ice ages and interglacial periods, with the rises being more rapid than the falls. Evidence of the variable permanence of different relative levels remains in coastal areas as still stands, which have been recorded during marine placer exploration. Factors controlling formation of placers. Some of the geological and geomorphological factors that control the concentration of heavy minerals along the Indian coast are as follows. Geological control. The physico-chemical behavior of provenance rocks, that is, igneous, metamorphic, or sedimentary, and the effect of various geological processes have played a vital role in contributing sediments to form a placer deposit. Climatic factor. The climate of the region has a great role to play in decomposing and disintegrating the rock and mineral fragments that get liberated and concentrated. Tropical to subtropical climate promotes deep chemical weathering along coastal region. These conditions also favored the formation of laterites that, in effect, is a process of pre-concentration. Drainage pattern. The availability of young and youthful rivers and their high density, coupled with climatic factors, played a prominent role in the supply of material for concentration along favorable locales especially along the ghat section of Kerala and Tamil Nadu coasts. The rivers joining the Bay of Bengal on the east coast, however, have attained maturity and in many cases delta systems have developed. Example, Mahanadi, Godavari, Krishna, Kaveri, etc. 
coastal processes, wave velocity, longshore currents, and wind speed also have their effects in littoral transport, sorting, and deposition of placer minerals. Emergence and submergence of the coast during geological past also affected the beach placer formation. Apart from these, numerous other factors that helped in the formation of these deposits are coastal processes. Ages of placers Primary sources, including those of gold that generated placer deposits, cover most of the Earth's history. Some important gold placers owe their origin to orogenic gold deposits formed during the Paleozoic, but the maximum frequency of all sources is in younger Mesozoic settings. The frequency declined in the Cenozoic, but primary sources continued to form through to the Pliocene and Pleistocene epochs. Evidence exists that greater number of placers were formed during the Paleozoic and Mesozoic eras. Mineral concentration and accumulation. The factors that determine the behavior of a rock or mineral particle in water or air are its size, shape and density relative to its neighbors and the prevailing energy level of its environment. The processes of erosion and deposition and the dominance of one or the other lead to the formation of two distinct styles of placers. They are here termed as lag, erosional, and accumulation, depositional, expressions that are familiar to and used in placer industry. The two forms of placer deposit, lag and accumulation, reflect variations in energy created by rainfall, stream flow, marine currents, ocean swell, breaking waves, tides, and wind. They may exist alone or in combination in any placer type in progression from alluvial to the most distal and dispersed marine deposits. World Distribution of Placer Mineral Deposits Placer Deposits of Southeast Asia In general, the placer deposits are more productive more economical and easier to mine than load deposits. Cassiterite, from which most tin is smelted, occur in placer concentration which yields valuable amounts of niobium, tantalum and rare earth minerals. Offshore dredging preceded dredging in land for tin. Offshore tin placers are widespread in shelf region. The Southeast Asia is the most important tin producing area of the world. The source rocks are Mesozoic granite intrusive, late Jurassic Cretaceous, which are widely distributed in the area. The tin province extends over a distance of 2,900 kilometers from northern Burma through peninsular Thailand, western Malaysia to islands of Indonesia. Sigakep, Bangka, and Billiton Islands. Geological factors considered to have contributed to the unusual size and value of this belt includes high concentration of tin-bearing granite, deep and rapid tropical weathering, formation of marine and alluvial placers, many of which are now seaward of the present shoreline, and Preservation of placers resulting from relatively low terrain drained by low velocity streams. The most important offshore placers near the Indonesian tin islands are found in submerged river channel of glacial or post glacial age, covered by younger sediments. Of the world's annual production of about 0 0.23 million tons, 30 to 50 percent comes from Malaysia 
and 10% from Thailand and Indonesia. The offshore dredging of submarine tin first began in 1908 in the shoreline area of Phuket Island, Thailand. Seabed mining for tin continued for many years near Indonesian tin islands and Phuket Island. Placer deposits of Sri Lanka. In the northeastern Sri Lanka, beach placers have been mined for 70 years. The offshore extension of Pulimodai beach deposit was explored by a German company. It has shown that heavy mineral bearing near shore Holocene fine sediment overlies either biogenic coarse sand, Pleistocene sediment or gneiss. Heavy mineral concentration in surface sediments, maximum 58%, occurs in the near shore silt or fine sand zone. Heavy mineral content in fine sand varies from 11 to 14 percent and the water depth is 0 0.5 to 15 meters. The reserve of ilmenite plus rutile plus zircon is 0 0.95 to 1.34 million metric tons. Placer deposits of Japan. Offshore titaniferous magnetite placers have been investigated in several places in Japan and some of them have been exploited. Emery and Noker, 1968. Heavy minerals concentration in offshore area of Japan and Korea have been investigated to prove more deposits. Placer deposits of Northwestern Europe. The cassiterite deposits off Cornwall have been mined for a short period in the past. The offshore deposits are both surficial and buried. Buried deposit consists of stream tin in buried river channel up to at least 12 meters below sea floor. Placer deposits of North America. Alaska. Placer gold of economic significance occurs in the offshore of Nome, Alaska. It stretches for over 30 kilometers along the coast and over 5 kilometers seaward. Water depth varies from 10 to 45 meters. Gold placer is associated with gravel deposit, which is derived from underlying glacial till. Platinum occurs in Good News area of Alaska as fine-grained particles. The source is probably Red Mountain ultramafic body. Oregon Surface concentration of more than 10% heavy minerals lie at more than 200 meters water depth nearer to the river mouths of Oregon. Higher concentrations of 30% heavy minerals associated with 5 to 150 parts per billion gold are located seaward of Rogue River mouth and off Cape Blanco. The heavy minerals are chromite, ilmenite, zircon, and gold. Virginia, Georgia coast. Economic deposits are expected to occur off Virginia, Georgia coast where onshore strandline deposits are being mined. Reconnaissance surveys of Virginia were conducted in the inner shelf for over three years from 1986. The chief economic heavy mineral is ilmenite, 27%, with minor quantities of leucoxine, rutile, zircon, and monazite. Placer deposits of British Columbia, Canada. Heavy minerals are reported in the continental shelf. The average concentration is about 10%, with maximum concentration of 28% in Queen's Charlotte Sound. Heavy mineral concentrated in fine sand, 0 0.15 to 0 0.2 millimeter. The heavy mineral fraction contains 30 to 50 percent amphibole, 5 to 25 percent opaques, chiefly ilmenite, and 5 to 15 percent sphene. Other heavy minerals are garnet, epidote, chlorite, 
and titanomagnetite. Placer deposits of Australia. Australia is the major producer of rutile, zircon and monazite in the world. Australia accounted for about 95% of rutile, 87% of zircon, 50% of monazite and 25% of ilmenite out of the world production in 1971. The main placer deposit occurs along 400 kilometers long coastline north and south of Perth in Western Australia and coast of Queensland and New South Wales in Eastern Australia. All are essentially beach and four dune deposits formed by wind and wave action. Gold occurs as accessory mineral in beach sand heavy mineral concentrates at a number of places in Eastern Australia. The gold placers may extend offshore either in drowned river channel or in ancient beaches. Offshore investigations in late 1980 have showed the presence of insignificant traces of gold and the operation was abandoned. Placer deposits of Africa Mozambique coast Sands with heavy mineral content of more than 3% in Pleistocene, terrigenous and biogenic relic sediments in the shelf surrounding the Zambezi River have been located in 1974. It covers an area of about 800 square kilometers. The chief heavy mineral is ilmenite. South African coast. Diamonds in raised beaches were first discovered along the coast of Southeast Africa in 1908. Since the diamond bearing sand extends down to the shoreline, it was thought that they might also occur on the seafloor. During 1961, the Marine Diamond Corporation of South Africa commenced commercial offshore operations. They located several areas of diamond concentration. Mining was subsequently undertaken in three areas. The other heavy minerals present are similar to those reported from the east coast of Africa. Senegal. Offshore surveys have brought out the presence of ancient shorelines at 25 meters, 40 meters and 65 meters water depth. Heavy mineral concentration is in fine sands which contains 2 to 5% of ilmenite and zircon. Heavy mineral concentration occurs as lenses parallel to shoreline. Placer deposits of India. However, after the nationalization of all the major deposits, the national production of ilmenite and rutile has increased over the years. The current production rate is of the order of 1,40,000 tons for ilmenite and 6,000 tons for rutile. Governmental concerns like the Indian Rare Earths Limited and Kerala Minerals and Metals Limited are involved in the production and marketing of the placer minerals. Over the last few decades, new deposits have been discovered in placers like Chhatarpur in Orissa, Vishakhapatnam in Andhra Pradesh in the East Coast, and Ratnagiri in Maharashtra in the west coast of the country. Along the coastal stretches of Tamil Nadu, deposits of heavy minerals occur in the inland areas in the form of terry sands. The current reserves of the placer minerals in India are as follows. 278 million tons of ilmenite, 13.49 million tons of rutile, 18 million tons of zircon, 7 million tons of monazite, 84 million tons of silimanite, and 86 million tons of garnet. The major placer concentrations of India are located along the east and west coasts. Placer deposits of Ratnagiri, Maharashtra. High concentrations of placer minerals occur along Jaigar and Vijaydurg in Maharashtra, particularly in the base of Kalba Devi, Mirya and Ratnagiri base. Heavy minerals range from 1 to 91% with 1 to 52% of ilmenite. Ilmenite assays about 
50 to 52 percent TiO2, titanium oxide. The placers in Bhatia, Purangad, and Govankhede contain high content of magnetite, 40 to 60 percent, and limonite, hematite, 25 to 35 percent, with relatively low ilmenite, 5 to 25 percent. The total reserves of the heavy minerals are estimated to be around 3.45 million tons. The provenance of the heavy minerals is attributed mainly to the Deccan Trap provinces. The Kaladgis consist of both granitic and metamorphic rocks and the Nysic basement of South Konkan forms a secondary source of heavy minerals. Extensive areas of Deccan Traps are overlain by laterites. The Konkan coast extending for about 230 kilometers from Dabhol through Ratnagiri to Vengurla is marked by a number of rocky promontories with intervening arcuate bays and tidal inlets. The occurrence of ilmenite placers on the beaches of these bays and estuaries have been known since 1935. The Department of Geology and Mines of Maharashtra estimated the onland reserves of ilmenite to be 4 million tons in the area extending from Undi to Purangad for a stretch of 48 kilometers. The offshore surveys of Konkan coast by National Institute of Oceanography, NIO in 1975, indicated ilmenite bearing sand cover more than 96 square kilometers area between Jaigar and Vijayadurg and the resources were inferred to be about 12.5 million tons for a sediment thickness of 1 meter from seafloor. The resources estimated by National Institute of Oceanography, NIO, in the three bays of Kalba Devi, Ratnagiri and Miria, based on grab sampling and extrapolation to a depth of 1 meter from seabed, were of the order of 2 million tons. The total heavy mineral content varies from 2.5 to 66%. The chief heavy minerals are ilmenite 10 to 40%, magnetite 2.0 to 8% and clinopyroxene up to 8%. Hornblende, tourmaline, zircon and garnet are also present in minor quantities. Conservative estimation of ilmenite and magnetite in Kalba Devi down to a depth of 2 meters from seabed is of the order of 2.29 to 3.12 and 0.44 to 0.68 million tons respectively over an area of 6 to 8.45 square kilometers. Placer deposits of Chavara, Kerala. The beaches of southern Kerala are well known for its rich deposits of heavy mineral sands. One of the highest concentrations of heavy minerals in the world occurs over a stretch of 22 kilometers in Nindakara Kayamkulam coast. The sands contain on an average 60 to 75 percent ilmenite, 4 to 7 percent rutile, 5 to 8 percent zircon, 0 0.5 to 1 percent monazite, 4 to 8 percent silimanite, and 1 to 1.5 percent leucoxene. It is being mined by the Indian Rare Earths Limited at Chavara. The deposit, popularly known as Koilon deposit, is one of the largest and richest in the world. It extends to about 22 kilometers with a width of around 500 meters. It stretches as a barrier beach between Nindakara at the mouth of Ashtamudi estuary and Kayam Kulam. The deposit has a maximum depth of 15 meters and is estimated to contain about 12.7 million tons of ilmenite, 1 million ton of rutile, 1.9 million tons of zircon and 0.41 million tons of monazite and 6 million tons of silimanite. This offshore occurrence is of significance from economic point of view due to its nearness to Nindakara seaport and Indian rare earth IRE factory at Chavara, 
its occurrence in shallow waters, growing consumption of heavy mineral bearing sands by IRE authorities as sources of ilmenite, rutile, zircon, monazite, garnet and silimanite, fast depletion of onland reserves and environmental aspects and difficulties of mining in thickly populated areas of Kerala. Hence, exploration to evaluate the heavy mineral distribution in the offshore of southern Kerala was taken up. Placer Deposits of Manavala Kurichi, Tamil Nadu Important placer deposits are located in the Manavala Kurichi area of Kanyakumari district. It is one of the oldest known deposits which was first worked for its monazite. The deposit extends to a length of about 6 kilometers from the north of Mutomto Kolachel with an average width of 45 meters. The total average content of heavy minerals is around 39%. Of these, ilmenite forms the major constituent 24%, with rutile 1.8%, leucoxene 0.90%, zircon 2%, monazite 1%, silimanite 3.5% and garnet 5.5%. Ilmenite contains about 56% TiO2. The monazite has a total of 58% REE, REE oxides, rare earth elements, and 8% THO2, thorium. The total reserves of heavy minerals in the Manavala Kurichi Kolachel stretch are estimated to be about 1.6 million tons. Ilmenite amounts to about 1 million tons. The reserves of other minerals estimated are as follows 0.075 million tons of rutile, 0.035 million tons of leucoxene, 0.082 million tons of zircon. 0.043 million tons of monazite, 0.23 million tons of garnet, 0.14 million tons of silimanite, and about 6,850 tons of kyanite. The area north of Kola Chilto Middleham has been found to contain workable deposits of heavy minerals estimated to be about 0.5 million tons. Terry Sands of Tamil Nadu these inland deposits occur along parts of southeastern coast of Tamil Nadu in the form of terrace in parts of Tirunelveli, Chidambaranagar, Ramanathapuram districts. They stand out prominently in the area at elevations of 30 to 60 meters. They occur as widely separated isolated patches with dimensions ranging from a few hectares to about 6,000 hectares. They are found about 0.1 to 10 km inland from the beach placers in a semi-arid setting. Seven such deposits with an aggregate area of 144 km have been identified. The average mineral grade is about 10% with reserves of 123 million tons. The terries are believed to be formed due to aeolian action in an arid, semi-arid climate. The sediments owe their origin to the eastern and western ghats, tertiary sandstones and limestones and kadalur beds. Placer deposits of Vishakapatnam, Andhra Pradesh. Black sands deposits occur in the Vishakapatnam, Bhimunipatnam coastal stretch of Andhra Pradesh for a length of 37 kilometers with a width ranging from 150 meters to 1 kilometer. The average heavy mineral concentration is about 20% with ilmenite 9%, rutile 0.6%, monazite 0 0.090 divided by 0, zircon 0 0.30 divided by 0, garnet 4% and silimanite 4%. The total reserves are worked out to be between 6.18 to 2.88 million tons of ilmenite and 0 0.005 million tons of garnet. The assay of this mineral is about 49% TiO2. 
the coastal stretch between Kakinada and Tandava River contain a total heavy mineral content of about 70 million tons, with a grade of about 12 percent. The reserves of ilmenite are about 30 million tons. The lithology of the area consists of charnockite and condalite group of rocks of the Eastern Ghats province. Granites and granitic gneisses also exist in the rock assemblages. A part of the sediment for the deposit formation may have been brought by large drainage systems like Krishna and Godavari, which flow through a range of lithologic successions like Deccan traps, Kadapa sedimentary formations and tertiaries of Rajamandri sequence. Placer deposits of Chhatrapur, Odisha The occurrences of heavy mineral placers along the beaches of Odisha coast are well known with 20 to 25 percent of heavies along the coastal tract of Gopalpur, Chhatrapur. Utilization has already commenced in the foreshore area of Aryapalli near Chhatrapur by the IRE. The economic heavy minerals present are ilmenite, silimonite, garnet, zircon, monazite and rutile. Important deposits of placers are located in the Chhatrapur of Ganjam district near Gopalpur. It extends to a length of 22 kilometers with an average width of 1.54 kilometers. The average grade of the heavy mineral is about 20% with ilmenite 8.80%, rutile 0.38%, monazite 0.27%, garnet 6.70%, zircon 0.31% and chilimonite 3.40%. The total reserves are estimated to be 46.61 million tons with a grade of about 20.22%. Of these, ilmenite constitutes about 20.3 million tons. The assay of TiO2 in ilmenite is around 50%. The heavy minerals are essentially derived from the Eastern Ghats province, which consists of condolites. Charnokites with their migmatized equivalents. The heavy minerals are essentially derived from the Eastern Ghats province, which consists of condolites, charnokites with their migmatized equivalents. Frequent exposures of anorthosites have been reported. Conclusion The most important economic attributes of placer deposits are size density and grade for their commercial extraction. Sometimes placers are distributed far away from their source rocks. Diamond, rutile and zircon are found as placers after several hundred kilometers of their sources. Erosion, transportation and deposition of placer and heavy minerals are very interesting areas of study in earth sciences.